On today's JR Brick Builders, we are finally adding the ultimate enemy for Mario to fight in our Lego Super Mario collection. That's right. It's we Bowser. have Bowser, and we will be building Bowser's Castle boss battle today on JR Brick Builders. And yes. we're also a team. And we're a team. Okay, in order to get moving on this video, Rocky, why don't you hold on to Mario, really nice and tight, and we'll take a quick look at the box, but I don't wanna to spend too much time on the box. I wanna get this thing out and get it built. We're building Bowser's Castle Boss Battle, 1,010 pieces, set number 71369, and as you can see, this is the biggest, most epic Lego Super Mario set that they made so far. Uh, this is a week in advance. I got the set several days ago, so I was over a week in advance on getting this. And all I did was pick it up at our local Walmart. And in fact, I've been in multiple Walmarts in our area, and none of them bothered to hold this back until the actual release date. They all just set them out. We got that. We got these sets over here. We've got those built. We got some of the mini characters. We've got videos on all that stuff, so make sure you check those out. I'm but the, what you're here for today, is this. So let's get this open and let's start building Bowser's castle. All right, let's get this sucker opened up and let's get to building. Now, I'm not sure how many bags are in this. It looks like quite a few. So we're just gonna go with the whole dump method and then we'll count them out here in a second. Oh yeah. We are not gonna be finish this today. I don't know, we might. Okay, let me see this. Let's take a look. I think it look. goes up to 10. Uh, well, here's a bag 11, so it at least goes up to bag 11. It looks like that might be the bag where you build Bowser, too. Uh, let's see, eight, nine. Seven, one, five, six, five, ten, nine, four. Ooh, lots of castle pieces and a lot of pieces in this bag. Number six, two, three. Okay, so it goes up to 11 bags. And you might have seen this as we opened up the box. These are not instructions. In fact, you can see it's only like three pages thick. This is just kind of a guide, a very simple guide to how to use the app and it might show you a little, yeah, a little layout of like So we don't have any instructions for this whole thing? Right, they do not ship with instructions. Instead, we gotta use, well, this phone that we're using to record. So some of this is gonna be a little bit choppy probably because we're gonna have to use the phone to build the set. But let's get started. Bag number one, looks like we do get a brick separator, yes. And it looks like we'll be building Dry Bones, I think is his name. Yes, Dry Bones. All right, we got Dry Bones, Big Shell bang on. Bang there he is. Big he is. Bones. He's a cool build. Is it just me or do, does it almost seem like his arms and legs should glow in the dark being that color? It's an interesting color choice for his arms and legs. All right, let's get into now bag number two. All right, Jeffrey, you want to show him what you built? This is how you start off bag number two, if I can get it to focus, Look. with this little fire guy, but I'm not sure what his name is. His name is Lava Bubble. and you get a coin for each jump. So now we're gonna get into the rest of these pieces. All right, this is the end of bag number two, and obviously we showed you Lava Bubble and the Catapult, but this is the rest of what you build up. I believe this goes kind of right at the beginning of the course, we'll find that out before too long. And I love these, they resemble like a course that Mario would jump through in the game. You build two of those uh, decorative walls, and then you have these pieces left over. And what we're discovering with all of these Lego Super Mario kits is that at the end of almost every bag, you end up with at least some of these plates because they're not, they really build this to be modular and then you decide what order they're gonna go in. Uh, so these will kind of help you put them in whatever order you want because you'll have connection points from one piece to the next. Okay, on to bag number three. All right, that's the end of bag number three. Three, I think we're on? Can't remember now. I think it was three, right? One coin. Yes, bag number three. And this is what you build. Love these little like lava pouring out of the windows. I like how they did that. Um, 
And I'm assuming maybe even at some point you'll probably stack these, but they leave it up to you. So you build two towers, two bases. Yep, they do, they do, they do, they do. You think they do? I think they probably look, do too. Look at let's, the box. Let's look at the box. Um, oh, okay, they do, but you're gonna build this little spinny thing in between them before you connect them. So that's probably what we'll end up doing in the next bag, is my guess. So let's get into bag number, bag number four. Here we go. With bag number four complete, what you build is this bottom section here with this little catapult mechanism we'll take a look at in just a moment. And then you add one of these towers that we already built two of to the top of it. So you don't build this, this section here in bag number four, you just build this bottom section. But what that allows you to do here is to take Mario and do, whoa, take Mario and go like this. Boom. And then you can come over and get your guy. Nice. Let's move on to bag number five. We finished that bag and it builds this platform here where uh, you can see on the box, Mario goes around in circles and the ghost, the boo, <laughs> the boo chases him around. So you can set him on there and he collects coins while you're spinning him. But the whole time, the ghost is chasing him. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't step on the ghost. Or... <laughs> All right, on to the next bag. Okay, the whole time I'm building this part back here, let me show you. I'm looking at all these gears and going, okay, this seems too, and maybe you can't even tell that, but there's a lot going on in there. And I'm thinking like, this seems too complicated for a simple spin feature. Well, that's because, let me see Mario. When you set Mario up on here and you start to spin him around, Boo goes at a different speed than Mario. So eventually, if you're not careful, Boo will come around and uh, it's hard to show you in with one hand, but Boo will come around. And here we go, you ready? We'll knock Mario off the platform. So that's why it's so complicated because Boo spins at a different rate than this so that you can only spin for so long before Boo comes around and gets him. Very cool, very well thought out. Well, truthfully, there's not a lot to report from bag number six. You just build a lot of this framework, which I believe is going to be kind of the base under the bridge and everything there, but that remains to be seen. So we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead to bag number seven now and not spend too much time on this section, but that's what you build with bag number six. Okay, it's later at night now. Uh, the boys are in bed, but I am back to working on this after taking a break and getting some ice cream. <laughs> um, and we just finished bag number seven. We're getting ready to start here on bag number eight. But I wanted to show you bag number seven. You work a little bit more on this uh, tower. You set up these two sections here. Got some articulating things here. Not sure what those will hook up to yet. Probably something with Bowser's arms would be my guess. But then you've also got this drawbridge section here that uh, articulates and we'll see. Uh, how that works once we get it all set up. So now we're gonna get started into bag number eight. I'm making good progress on the uh, Bowser's Castle build and on my ice cream too, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> um, for bag number eight, you build uh, the bridge and a really cool play feature here. You build these platforms here where you've got um, an, a bonus clock block. It'll give you extra time and a question mark box that'll give you possibly extra time or some coins or a mushroom or a star. And then you've got this platform here that you can set Mario on and I haven't tested it yet to see exactly what music he plays or whatever he does there. But as you spin, this gear turns and raises some of those platforms. It's pretty cool. You can, you can spin it pretty wide past those, but it just very, very smoothly goes under and lifts those up. I'm not sure if that will knock Bowser off somehow or how exactly that works. We'll have to check that out, but um, this, is, this is how far you are once you get past bag number eight. So now, we're gonna dig into bag number nine. Bag number nine is done, and everything is starting to come together and make a little more sense. First of all, how awesome are these Bowser arms? They are fantastic, and they rest right on top of these boxes. And so these platforms are starting to make more sense because as you can see, when you hit those, Bowser's arms go up a little bit. 
But the key is to hit them really hard so Bowser's arms go up. You have access to that box, but then you'll also notice once you've done it to both of them, we'll just go ahead and do that by hand, then it puts a slight slope on this and puts Bowser down onto these, where then you'll be able to knock him off by doing that. So this is all starting to come together and make a lot more sense. Now, we will go ahead and start on bag number 10. Well, we finished bag at number 10. We have just one bag left to go, which is bag 11, which is where you build Bowser. Uh, but the main stage here is now complete. This buildable Bowser statue here is amazing. I mean, they did a fantastic job with that. And it's funny, the whole time I'm building this, I'm sitting here humming the Bowser, like boss battle theme music in my, in my mind <laughs> and whistling it um, because it's just so, you know, it's iconic. And Bowser really does look terrifying in this, this uh, buildable, you know, replica stage here. And um, the boys are gonna love this. It's gonna be a lot of fun, not just to look at, because it does make an awesome display piece, but to actually play with. I mean, the fact that all these playable features are here and you run Mario through the course is gonna be a ton of fun for them. I will say as you're building up Bowser's head here, this big piece, just to pay really close attention because there were actually a couple of places where I got kind of hung up and I just missed you know, alignment by one brick or something like that. So um, as long as you follow the instructions closely, you'll be okay, but you know, don't be surprised if you get hung up on one or two spots in there. Now we are going to get into building the man himself, the legend. Bowser. <laughs> okay, we finished Bowser's castle boss battle, and I wanna show you the, kind of the crowning piece of it, because we just finished that, and that is Bowser. Wait until you see this, all right, you ready? This is Bowser, completely brick built, which I'm so glad about that, that they went with a brick built Bowser instead of some pre-molded thing. It just, I don't know, there's something about building him and posable arms and, he just turned out fantastic. Let's take a closer look. All right, here he is. He looks amazing. Printed tongue piece there. In fact, I'm happy to say that in this whole set, not one sticker, it's all prints. And the pieces uh, look awesome. So here's Bowser. He is, like I said, totally brick built, posable arms, posable tail. He's got his little sticker on the back. I have not yet seen what that does. We'll have to check that out, but this is, this is him in all his glory and he looks amazing. He's a lot of fun to build. There's more that goes into him maybe than what it even appears. In fact, the entire 11th bag, the final bag of this whole set is just the pieces for Bowser. So um, it's pretty awesome. Now he fits right in here and there's, he kind of fits into these grooves here. So he fits into that, not a whole lot of wiggle room there. He fits onto the bridge. And as long as his arms are up, then once you've hit these and sent these arms up, then he slides forward, can slide forward onto this, and then Mario can do this to kind of bounce him back and forth until he falls forward, and then you can jump on his shell. So in its glory, let's take this. Actually, you know what? This would probably be best as like, I don't know, music behind it and just a really good look at this set. Let's do that. So there you have it, that is Bowser's Castle and the new Super Lego Mario theme. And I think we'll do another video maybe in the next day or so and go over all of the play features of this because this video is getting long so I can't fit all of that into one video. But we'll take a look at you know what happens when you scan him with Mario. Um, we'll take a, a better look at like the actual play features of this set. But that's an overview of Bowser's Castle. It is incredible. I think they did an awesome job with this. Definitely worth the money and definitely worth being like the biggest set in this series of Lego Super Mario. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the bell notification if you wanna see upcoming videos on Lego Super Mario because we have more to do and we're gonna take a closer look at all these sets. 
in the meantime, hey, thanks so much for watching.